All right, guys, so having a unique skin color is a beautiful thing. It's not bad at all. In fact, it will make you stand out from the rest of the world, like in the most beautiful way. So anyways, man, I'm going to run my intro, and then we're going to check out five people with the most unique skin color. So let's go. Want to join my free gift card giveaway? Subscribe to my channel, like the video, and turn notifications on. And finally, tell me in the comment section below that you subscribe. What's up, gang gang? It's your boy, right? And let's get to these reactions. So basically, I just reacted to five kids you won't believe exist. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to react because on the sidebar, obviously, like, up next was five people with unique skin colors. Skin. Anyways, man, so beauty skin deep. So guys, don't even get caught up with this kind of stuff. So yeah, let's get right into it. All right, let's go. Shout out to Facts 5. Fact 5. Facts. Fact 5. There you go. Just like that. Damn, she's white as snow. Is she albino? Could be. Let's find out. Dubbed by some as the most beautiful albino in the world, Nastia Zidkova suffers from a congenital disorder known as albinism. This is when there is a lack of production of melanin, the pigment that is responsible for colouring your skin, hair, and eyes. As a result, wow. these features can appear very pale, like, which is the uh, case eyelashes. for Nastia Zidkova. Zidkova has used her striking complexion to land herself a modelling career, and she is not the only albino to do so. Sean Ross, Stephen Thompson, and Connie Chu, who we will get to later, and Jewel Jeffrey are Yo. only a handful of names who have taken the fashion world by storm and have shown the beauty they look that comes really with unique, albums. man. That's Aside good. Aside from modeling, Zidkova likes to sing and has shared her love for singing on YouTube. Yo, I'm about to look up her songs, man. I'll react to one of her songs if you want me to. Let me storm. know. And Let's see that again. The that What's her name? Albinism. Aside from modeling, Zidkova likes to sing Not and has shared Zidkova. her love for singing on okay. YouTube. Shout out to her, yo. Many tend to think that black people can't have freckles. However, that's yeah, not one the of case, my boys especially got freckles. for Nikki of Phoenix, whose Just face like is that, covered with them. Her striking appearance has secured her a career as, guess what? That's right, a model. And she has featured in campaigns for Coca-Cola, Target, and Ultimate in addition, Phoenix created her own blog called Model Liberation, where she provides beauty advice and has also founded Black Girl Beautiful, which celebrates African American beauty. Phoenix said, Being a freckled faced natural head girl isn't easy. I've always felt different. Because of faith, I've been able to embrace who I am and prosper. There you go! She just gave you! Born in Hong Kong, Gems. Connie Chu is recognized for being the world's first albinistic fashion model. Like Nastia Zidkova, who I talked about in number five, Connie Chu suffers from albinism. Yo, which I'm not skin. gonna lie, like, okay, look, I've seen white albinos, I've seen black albinos, but obviously since I haven't been to Asia yet, like, this is the first Asian albino I'm seeing, even in pictures, so this is awesome. And other features to appear very pale. She emigrated to Sweden at a young age, where she studied arts and Damn, journalism, Sweden, and they... went on to pursue a modeling career at the age of 24, they after really... her sister asked her to model at one of her shows. White up she there, those Nordics, for fashion man. photographers like Terry Richardson and Heidi Niermaler, before modeling for French designer Jean-Paul Gaultier. In addition to a modeling career, Chu performs at various clubs and events as a jazz singer. Ooh, okay. I want to hear some of her stuff now. At the age of four, Chantel Brown Young, or Winnie Harlow, oh, as yeah, this known by herself, had developed had. white patches on her stomach, which then spread to the rest of her body. She was diagnosed with a prominent form of vitiligo, yeah. a skin condition where white patches develop on the skin due to a lack of melanin, the very condition that Michael Jackson suffered from. Exactly. Fun fact. Harlow's eye-catching look meant that she wow. was often subject to bullying throughout her childhood, and she even contemplated suicide. But thankfully, Harlow was discovered by TV personality Tyler Ooh. Banks, who asked her to compete on America's Next Top really? Model, to which she did. After placing sixth overall, Harlow went on to model for the Spanish clothing brand Desigual, as well as becoming an ambassador for the brand, and she has featured in many fashion magazines, including Glamour, Complex, and Cosmopolitan. Yeah, but if that her, wasn't like, enough, Harlow has Ligo also made appearances very in very symmetrical. It's almost artistic, if you ask me. Like, it just... It, it like makes 
It's good. Music videos, including Eminem's Guts Over Fear and Beyonce's Lemonade. Wow. Okay, number one. 19-year-old Senegalese model Kodia Diop is not your average looking person, as she possesses a unique skin tone with melanin-rich colour. Growing up, Diop was confronted with bullies and teased because of her dark skin tone. However, that did not stop her from pursuing a modelling career at the age of 17. She, has she some participated nice in a photo shoot for the Coloured Girl campaign. Boy which aimed at celebrating the beauty of black women of every size, shape, and skin tone. The campaign was a huge success, and Diop went from around 100 followers on Instagram to now over 300... Damn! Her beautifully rich... Wait, plug. Follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to get to... 15k. Let's go. Tone has helped her become one of the most successful models in the world, as well as an inspiration to many. It's no wonder she, she pretty calls herself eyes, the like, melanin really goddess. There you go, guys. Look. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Look, usually when I watch stuff like this, I end up with some kind of speech of, you know, this and that and this. But I think today, let's see, how will I end this? I'll just end it like this, man. Like, all these ladies are beautiful. And I'm about to go follow them on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram too. All right. All right, gang, gang, that's my time, man. Thank you for watching. And yeah, I can't find my hats, man, because I appreciate you.